Hey guys, this is Ninja Knight. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate that. So today we have an article from Bounding at the Comics, and it's detailing a rumor that suggests how Beast from X Men will arrive in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So we have today a new rumor details where Marvel Studios might introduce the X-Men member known as Beast into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not only does the rumour reveal where Beast might be introduced, but it continues to fuel speculation that the X-Men and mutants at large might be introduced into the Marvel Cinematic piecemeal. So they're talking about putting the mutants into different movies and having them join together then to become the X-Men, kind of like the Avengers. So the latest rumour comes from Mikey Sutton via a YouTube channel, Everything Always. He states, according to Mikey Sutton's inside sources, Beast will be appearing on Disney Plus's upcoming but yet unannounced Sword TV series. The Easter egg of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s transformation into Sword is already being hinted at in its seasons. Uh, in this season's Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where the new code word to a spy speakeasy is Swordfish. He continues, for the moment, Sword or Agents of Sword, they haven't decided that the title yet is looking to be where the Beast in all his 40 glory will make his 40 debut. And there will be a regular hotspot for other mutants and comic cosmic heroes that Marvel Studios looks to introduce and test to the general public. So interesting. Apparently the Marvel Studios will be jumping directly to the variety that we're used to in the film. And according to Mikey Sutton, they are looking for some of the weirder mutants to be involved going forward. Uh, everything always concludes. So Agents of Sword, Beast part of the team. In the comics, Hank McCoy is part of the original lineup of X-Men with Jean Grey, Cyclops, Angel and Iceman. He doesn't have the iconic blue four featured in the bulk of his comic book appearances, so you see, this is the original way Beast look, looked, specifically undergoing a radical change by Jerry Conway in Amazing Adventures number 11. The appearance was changed was to bank on the success of Werewolf by Night the previous year by Steve Englehart. It is at this time away from the X-Men that he develops into his own character and makes his way back to the X-Men, so this is what he looked like when he took some sort of serum and changed into a hairier version of himself and later then to a blue version of himself because uh, Marvel decided that grey versions didn't pop enough I suppose and that coloured versions did so they did the same to Hulk. As for Beast's connection to Sword, one does exist in the comics. Beast dated Agent Abigail Brand, a member of Sword. He joins her in space while the call commander of the station, Henry Goyrick, started rounding up aliens on Earth in an attempt to avoid another secret invasion attempt. His time in space was short-lived, and he returns to the X-Men for a short time to deal with Cyclops, before moving on with the Avengers and sliding, siding with the team of heroes against mutants in AVX, so Avengers vs. X-Men. It's pure speculation at this point, but if the rumour is true, we might see Beast start off as part of S.W.O.R.D. and the Avengers. The Everything Always channel always also talked about utilising CGI to bring Hank McCoy, the Beast, to life on screen. However, Kelsey Grammer's appearance on X3 as Beast was lauded at the time, and the makeup effects for his character weren't an issue or for critics of the film. This rumour follows <coughs> excuse me, a number of other rumours about other characters re recently acquired by Marvel. And Disney after the acquisition of 20th Century at Fox showing up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe not par as part of the X-Men or as a mutant team but as an individual character. Back in February a rumour indicated that Arkady Rosovich aka Omega Red would be introduced in the Oak The Falcon and the Winter Soldier series for Disney Plus. So this is a killer character usually a, a villain for Wolverine. More recently, another rumour from Mikey Sutton detailed that the X-Men member Dazzler could show up in the A-Force team up film alongside She-Hulk and Captain Marvel. Nah. There's also rumours of Wolverine battling with the Immortal Hulk while Alpha Flight attempts to reign in Weapon X in a feature film. Still, there's more rumours of minor characters like Spyro and WizKid showing up in Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, the star of that has already put me off that. If these are rumours are true... Uh, however, Marvel Studios introduced Spider-Man and Black Panther, they gave them smaller but significant roles in Com Captain America Civil War and then spun them off into their own solo movies. It's possible that they might do the same with some of these mutant characters, but it could be for an X-Men team rather than a solo mutant films. What do you make of this rumour? Um, I think this rumour is going to be true. I think you're going to see X-Men spread out through movies um, that people might generally not see. So I definitely think you're going to have one, if not two, if not three maybe, X-Men in the next Captain Marvel movie because the first one was quite poor in my opinion. So you're going to have your sea horde now kind of starting off in the 90s. So I think we'll we'll see more X-Men dropped in there so that people will go and see the movies because the fact that it was wedged between Infinity War and Endgame was the only reason I think that that movie succeeded. It, it was a very, very poor movie in my opinion. And I think... 
going forward, I think that's what they're going to do with these characters. They, they've they've announced the phase four. They know people are lukewarm towards it. So I think you will see big nine characters being spread out between these films. And I think that's what we'll see here. So interesting to see who will cast as Beast as well too. Um, and if it's CGI, they did kind of do CGI with his transformation in the first class movies, I think. And... Um, it'd be interesting to see if they go full CGI. I always think the practical effects look the best, and I think Kelsey Grammer did a fantastic job. So we'll see what happens with the X Men going forward. But that's the news for today with Beast. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.